I finally recovered from the flu and your girl is hungry and ready for dairy. Today I am going to be driving around Los Angeles to some of my favorite restaurants and ordering what the employee recommends that I order. <laughs> is that? Mostly because I need a thrill. Where I know the food is gonna be good and delicious, I need it. I've had the flu for two weeks and it has been horrible. The worst sickness I've had in maybe 15 years. I've cut out dairy, I've cut out a lot of food that's been bad for me just until I could recover. But today she is alive and she's thriving. I'm ready to dip my toe back in a little bit of dairy. Dare I dairy it today? Also I feel like I look like a little boy. I had like a cartoon little boy version of myself. This is what he would look like. It's been a while since I've left the house, guys. Bear with me. I don't know what's gonna come out of my mouth today, so get excited and subscribe if you're new here. Am I the only one who's been kind of confused lately with all the tipping requests? Why is everyone asking us to tip them now? Like everyone. I would rather places just charge me more. Let me know if you're seeing that too. Just pulled in to the parking lot at Starbucks. What's your favorite thing to order? The vanilla sweet cream cold brew is probably my favorite. And then for food, what do you recommend? A chocolate croissant is my good. Okay, I'm down with that. Let's do that. Thank you. This guy is me circa like five years ago. He is taking me back to my OG days. This guy wanted me to order a vanilla sweet cream cold brew and a chocolate croissant, which is what I used to order order all the time especially those days I used to go into clever and I'd order that for the road and it just it's gonna taste nostalgic for me so Braxton was his name ordering classics is his game I haven't had this in a while usually I don't order it because I feel like the employees actually hate making the sweet cream foam but if Braxton said he liked it apparently he's cool with making it y'all it's so crazy how a flavor can take you back to a place very nostalgic. So Braxton at Starbucks also recommended a chocolate croissant, which is also something that I love, but it has to be warmed. Otherwise these little chocolate pieces turn into chocolate sticks and you bite into it and it's not a fun visceral exploratory experience. Cheers. A classic. I'm gonna have a second bite of that. It is lunchtime officially, 12.01 p.m. So let's go Taco Bell. <laughs> it's the perfect time for Taco Bell. It started to rain. What's one of your favorite items on the menu? Chicken and chicken and chicken Okay, I I'll try I'll try all three of those. Thank you so much. Have a good one. So I didn't realize this, but if you round up at Taco Bell, or at least at my Taco Bell, they'll donate it to, I'm assuming, local schools? So my sweet Taco Bell lady, recommended three items that are off of Taco Bell's new cravings menu. I actually worked with Taco Bell to promote their new cravings menu a couple of weeks ago and they have a ton of new items that are three dollars or less and they've always had a cravings menu but they added a few new items to it. So she wanted me to order the stacker and the chicken enchilada burrito and the three cheese chicken flatbread melt. So without further ado let's just jump in. This is the chicken chipotle melt and I love I love this bread. It's so soft and puffy. Bon appetit! Oh my gosh. That was so good. It's like when it hits your tongue, it like sizzles because it's just so delicious and tangy and cheesy and spicy. Mm. I would eat the hell out of that if I wasn't doing an entire video where I was eating all kinds of different foods. I need to work on my Taco Bell food modeling. It's not my strength. I'm, I'm better at eating it than modeling it. This is as phallic as we're going to get in this video. So enjoy it while it lasts, you creeps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, good. It's really hard to come back from that flatbread texture, though. I mean, a burrito's a burrito's a burrito. We love it. We're born to love it. Burritos come straight from the heavens above. But that flatbread texture when you start there, it is really hard to compete. Even though it's very good, very similar flavor. You're like me. I was always third runner up in every little pageant that I did. I was third runner up in Miss North Carolina. And third runner up is not a bad spot. I think she's in third runner up right now, even though I still have one more to go. I, I know a third placer when I see one. That's okay. We can live long, lovely lives. Speaking from a, a third place gal. Yeah. What is this? Ooh, she's thick. She's like all folded up like a little envelope. I actually like the holding this. This feels really nice in my hands because I have really big hands. Mmm. Yum. I don't get it. I don't understand how Taco Bell does it. Taco Bell had such a revival over the last like 10 years maybe. And I don't think I've ever really eaten anything from there that I was like, I don't like this. Everything is so good. I, I want another bite, but guys, I have so much more video left. I won't tell anyone. 
We were just between you and I. All right, I just rode by Chick-fil-A and I was like, well, while I'm here, I might as well. I might as well. It's not a Sunday, so it's not a day I'm craving Chick-fil-A. The last time I came here, I ordered a plain grilled chicken sandwich and that was the most depressing item I think I've ever ordered. So here's hoping for delicious fried chicken options. Hi, hey. good to see you. I see you I'm too. actually doing a video today. No way. Yeah, so I'm just ordering whatever you want me oh. to order. I'm gonna say the spicy deluxe. But the Colby Jack cheese. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Your side. I'm gonna do a cookie parfait. Ooh, I haven't tried that. <laughs> All right, we're doing it. I love it. That sweet girl is a subscriber. So if you're watching, hi. Thank you for giving me something amazing and delicious to try. I haven't, she had some sort of cookie parfait. What the is that? So my sweet friend at Chick-fil-A recommended I get a spicy chicken sandwich deluxe, which has like lettuce, tomato, and then she added Colby Jack, which I don't think I've maybe ever done before. She also recommended I get the cookie parfait. It's not visually appealing. It looks a little bit like dirt, but I bet it tastes delicious because it smells really good. All right, let's do the spicy chicken sandwich deluxe. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is really good. Let me just do one more bite of this. Mm -hmm. I'm getting juice all over my snow, but won't be the first time. Keep your bites out of the gutter. All right, this is what I'm most excited about, and it's this parfait. It does have strawberries, it does have blueberries, and it looks like Oreo from like the Oreo milkshake. Crumble on top. So let me get a good healthy bite. It's got a little strawberry there. That is so good. It's really creamy. It's almost like a dessert. It has a little bit of a tartness to it. It is yogurt, but it almost tastes like um, a vanilla dessert yogurt or something. It doesn't taste healthy for you. Let me just put it that way. Mmm. This is so good. I can't believe I've lived my whole life and not tried this. I've taken like six bites. That's how you know. I'm obsessed with this. I am at one of my favorite places in the world. It is Krispy Kreme. Now, when I come to Krispy Kreme, I only really order the original glaze. So, this is going to be a fun experiment because you keep around Welcome to Krispy Kreme. So I'd like to do a half dozen and then I'll just want you to pick whatever flavors. Okay. Okay, great. So here is my half dozen pre-assorted Krispy Kreme assortment. Let's see what she did. Ooh, okay, okay. We've got a lot of variety here. This is a cinnamon sugar donut just okay. I mean, it's a good version of what it is, but it's no original glaze. Okay, this is the custard-filled chocolate. Now, I don't know what is in here. Yeah, look for the little butthole. They all have one. Yeah, this is like some sort of vanilla custard. Not to be confused with vanilla. In the South, we say vanilla all the time. Let's try her. Mm -hmm. This is like the type of donut my dad would order with a little gushy feeling on the inside. I don't like surprises in my mouth. I don't like biting into something that I can't see what's in there. But if I had to do it into anything, it would be this one. I'm a little nervous. This one looks like, oh gosh, it's like a fruit donut. I think it's strawberry. Oh, I feel like I've had something like this from Krispy Kreme that almost ruined me, wrecked me, turned me into a melted pile of disaster. <sighs> the smell is just not right, but we're just gonna, we're gonna go for it. <coughs> I did not even want to swallow that. How is that even possible from a Krispy Kreme item? Oh, oh no. There's another surprise. I could tell it's got something dark on the inside. Oh, I hate not knowing. It's like if you order a tea and then you drink it and you realize it's a Coke, your brain does not like not knowing what it's getting itself into, you know? I'm gonna break her open because I just, I can't do it anymore. I'm living too close to the edge. Okay, she's a rich little thing. What's that like? Look how fat, it's like, where is the donut here? <sighs> It's really hard to ruin donuts, you know? But this girl, I think she was trying to, she was like, I bet you she'll never ask somebody to make her order up again after this. Let's get funny. I'm just gonna use the ends. I'm gonna use it as a dip, like a charcuterie cheese. <gasps> oh. oh, why is it so gross? That actually tastes like medicine to me. I'm on a medicine kick right now. I'm <laughs> Now this, I think, is just a maple donut. This is the smell that overtakes the whole box, actually. I feel like this is what I'm smelling. Let's try. Honestly, 
that's the best one of all of these so far. This is probably the closest to the original ones. I don't love the smell of maple. Am I weird? I love the taste of it. Like I love syrup, but the smell has this like, is it food or is it something that requires a physician? Okay, let's move into this donut, which moonlights, I'm sure, as some sort of security weapon. This is very heavy, heavy duty. I mean, this is... I don't think you could be able to carry this into a Taylor Swift concert because it's that hard. Hmm, that gives me little Debbie vibes. Birthday cake from the grocery store, like chocolate birthday cake. Not like your preferred chocolate. But sometimes it's nice just to get a box and eat it by yourself. <laughs> I was not very impressed by this assortment. <laughs> I feel like I was being punished or maybe they're the ones that no one has ordered today and they were just trying to get rid of them and they saw this as their opportunity. Like you can tell I was not impressed by the fact that I am not licking these fingers. The thing that I appreciate about this experiment is I feel like we're all more alike than I think we are. There's so many people today who just ordered the stuff I already love but that chick-fil-a parfait is calling my name I have to go finish that let me know if there are any other videos you want to see on this channel